Church and welcome to our morning devotion. Let's bow our heads and pray. Father, we just thank you, we praise you, we worship you, Lord. Bless this short portion and edify the body and speak to our hearts today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So this morning I just thought of speaking on the topic of fellowship. Okay, if you have your Bibles, we'll read one verse from 1 John chapter 1 and verse 3. It says uh, John is writing to the family or the church, church family. And he's talking here about the importance of fellowship. In fact, in John 1, 1 John 1, 3 says, That which we have seen and heard, we declare to you. Now, John is saying, he's not just saying some kind of words that he already memorized, but he's saying, we have seen with our eyes and we heard things, and that is what we're going to declare to you. And what he's going to declare to us about the fellowship, that it says that you also may have fellowship with us he's talking about the fellowship that you could have and then he goes on to say it's our fellowship is not only with us it's also somebody else is involved and that is truly our fellowship is with the father and with his son jesus christ isn't that beautiful like when we think about fellowship the greek word is koinono which means something in common what makes us to come together as a body of christ and that is the finished work of Christ, what Christ has done. And when we believed upon Jesus, we are brought into the family of Christ like an organism into the body of Christ. And something that is common in all of us is we all have the same Holy Spirit. We have the same Father. We have the same Son, Jesus Christ, who died for you and me. And this is beautiful to think about this morning. That's where fellowship, when we understand the real meaning of fellowship, there's so much of joy and we long to. By the way, in heaven, for all eternity, we're going to have fellowship around the body of Christ. I was thinking about two aspects of fellowship. One is vertical. Like every morning I could have a vertical fellowship with my God. And with what I receive from heaven, I also give it to my horizontal relationship to whoever I meet. And this is very important. Right? If this fails, then I have nothing to offer but it's just a natural emotional talk to somebody. I just put down a few things about fellowship. I just, as I read some of those things, okay. Number one, fellowship is a communication of speech which edifies on purpose. I like that, isn't it? Like we don't edify because to fake it out. We edify because we edify on purpose because we are made in Christ, we each one are special and, and that's so amazing. And our fellowship doesn't have criticism, it doesn't lie, it doesn't speak evil about each other, but our fellowship is to edify on purpose. I like that, isn't it? We edify on purpose, I love that. Okay, because of the finished work. Fellowship is also being a friend at all times in Proverbs chapter 17, 17. I like that thought, isn't it? Like, like fellowship is not like because you do good, I'm with you. If you're bad today, I'm not going to talk to you. No, that's not the way it works. Like a true fellowship is being a friend at all times. Like Jesus today is telling to us, if I fail today, I'm not going to talk to you. No. Like he loves us at all time. Bible says when we're at sinners, Jesus died for me. And that is what makes a true fellowship. Fellowship is also, okay, is when the Lord is between you and the other person in 1 Samuel chapter 20 verse 42. When the Lord comes in the center of our relationship and that is what fellowship is. Now you can't have a fellowship with an unbeliever. But when the Lord comes into two people as a center, and that is true fellowship. Fellowship also knows no man after flesh, 2 Corinthians 5.17. That means I don't see anybody in their failure, how they react, how they talk, how they behave, how they smell, or whatever it is. Okay, I don't see each other in the flesh, but I see them who they are in Christ. And that's why my fellowship is very, very special. Fellowship also bears one another's burden in Galatians 5.2. It's like your burden is my burden. I like I like this ministry as a whole, as a greater Christ. We have so much emphasis on prayer. Like we share our burdens with each other. We pray for each other. I like that because that's what really true fellowship is, that we share our burdens. No, and I, I like that. And fourthly also, fellowship is also reconciliation. That means I'm in constant, like, you know, forgiveness is there in my 
fellowship. It's not like uh, no grudges, but I always have like a reconciliation in 2 Corinthians 5, 19 to 20 that are having a spirit of reconciliation because Christ could forgive me no matter what I did, I could forgive somebody. If I summarize all these three, all these points I spoke, it comes to four, four things. Number one, communication. So fellowship is communication like words of edification, words that encourage people, words that would build people. That's what my fellowship because if you meet Jesus today in front of you, I think he will have words of encouragement. If I turn my Bible this morning or this afternoon or this night, I think every word I speak is edification. And this same Jesus dwells in each one of us and we could share those edifying words with each other. And that's amazing. And also distribution, that's second uh, summarizing of the whole thing I shared about fellowship like fellowship is also distribution of what God has given us God has given each one a spiritual gift and we could participate in our gifts in the body of Christ I like that isn't it God is not given by every uh, like one person all the gifts like he distributed among the body that's where body of Christ makes so special we need each other's portion and we need to also rejoice with what gift God has given me and I can use and distribute those gifts and thirdly it's a communion communion this is a very sacred relationship it is sacred because Christ becomes the center of our relationship and so we want to we never take people for granted we never get familiar with people we honor and we river people because of who they are in Christ and fourthly is a contribution what can I do in the fellowship instead of me like you know, expecting something from somebody but what can I do what can I do in the body of Christ to be a contributor? I love that, isn't it? What an amazing thought to have. Like fellowship is like, like something that is held in common that came through Jesus Christ at the finished work. Amen.